so hi guys a uh, very good evening and i welcome all of you to this session of upsc sociology 2021 mains paper which uh, took place today uh, both the paper sociology 1 and 2 we'll uh, we'll briefly analyze the pattern of questions the uh, recurrent themes that upsc is asking from and what should be your go up like uh, how should you progress for beginners and uh, for those who are uh, have given up previous attempts how should you go about with your uh, sociology preparations so let's uh, start okay so we'll start with general observations about the paper then we'll move on to detailed discussions on paper 1 and paper 2 so first observation is that repeated areas in paper 1 for example if you see the question paper of your paper 1 sociology emergence of sociology thinkers stratification uh questions from work and economic life religion these things are coming Pos uh quant positivist methods comparison between uh positivist and non positivist methods different uh methods of study different uh, quantitative methods or qualitative methods so all these are very very important and overall the paper was i would say it was a very um, standard paper it covered uh, all the more or less the standard portions of the syllabus they have asked questions from each and every standard portion it was a very standard paper anyone who has gone through the standard sources and has practiced previous year questions you have definitely done well in this paper uh so you can see that repeated emergence of sociology is a very very important um, area the first uh, unit then you have so there's a question on modernity then you have questions on uh, sociology and how it is becoming a multidisciplinary uh, area which is your portion which relates to uh, sociology and its comparison with other disciplines so they have made slight changes slight modifications and they have actually said that how they you have to basically write from sociology and you have to take portions from history you have to take how it is uh, how this uh, field of sociology is broadening and it is there is interdisciplinary areas in history in anthropology in economy and you have to quote some contemporary studies that's all you have to approach this question then you have questions on sociology and common sense which is uh, a previous year question of course they have just repeated it then you have questions on thinkers thinkers durkheim marx weber if you have done these thinkers carefully then you have definitely got these if the themes that are covered by uh, in within this thinkers the studies of these thinkers then definitely you have done well in the thinkers portion very standard questions on weberian bureaucracy uh why it is a rational cage then you have durkheim's division of labor marx's mode of production which are just very very standard areas everyone covers these portions so very very standard areas you have questions on stratification and social mobility apart from that in paper 1 you also have your pareto is a theory of circulation of elites which are very standard areas religion religious revivalism cult so these are all very very standard areas dependency theory again a very favorite area of upsc next repeated themes in paper 1 so your kinship portion how kinship is changing in modern society religious revivalism patriarchy civil society pressure groups in your politics and society portion so that is these are very very recurrent themes these are very um, almost every year you have questions on these and if you prepare then this uh, these themes properly then i think sociology optional is it's very easy is is within your uh, hands next coming on to paper 2 we have again repeated themes in paper 2 same book view and field view uh, ambedkar's annihilation of caste uh, in the from the caste tribe portion you don't have questions on village studies if i have seen the question carefully uh, also uh, there is question on modernization of indian tradition and very flat questions 
Yogendra Singh's uh, modernization of Indian tradition, Little and Great Tradition of Mac and Marriott. So you have this time, uh, instead of village studies, that portion has taken up a, uh, a broader area, uh, has covered more questions. UPSC has taken up more questions from modernization of Indian tradition. Then if on tribes, you have a very standard question, the Verrier Olvin and G.S. Ghure debate on tribe, whether they are backward Hindus or uh, you know they are um, outcasts. What uh, the um, the colonialist view versus the Indological view? So these are very very standard questions. Also, you have questions on untouchability, all standard type. And one another observation was current affairs section. It's not that last two three months, four months, five months current affairs or something very uh, something in detail about uh, current affairs or something something from a fringe area which sometimes you see in upsc uh, optional papers that some event from which is not very uh, you know which was not that much talked about or that that much uh, you know it, it was a fringe topic and you have a question on that a sociological impact of something something like that has not happened this year this year the themes are very standard themes new education policy almost everyone has prepared new education policy social media and communal violence, ethnocentric violence, problems on aging, or uh, uh, the sociocultural factors that affect the, um, the sex ratio. These are very, very standard. And you have all these issues if you are following any standard reference, like your IGNU notes or your uh, uh, problems of Indian society, uh, these stand by Ram Ahuja, so all these and your newspapers they all cover these questions these these dimensions these areas moving on to a uh, specific analysis detailed analysis of the papers in section a of paper one you have certain themes which are most important in repeating year on year for example stratification and mobility thinkers qualitative quantitative methods emergence of sociology so if you prepare these themes and a try attempting or try practicing your previous year questions at least from uh, you know 2013 or 2010 to 2020 onwards then your sociology optional is done it is that easy it is not at all difficult so mains is basically you know for your mains preparation you don't have to break your head aspirants have this issue that they feel from where to prepare thinkers how much you have to read in thinkers how many thinkers you have to quote very standard durkheim's uh, thing of uh, division of labor marx's mode of production weberian theory of bureaucracy so one uh, reading these thinkers in detail read learning about their critic criticism and some modern take on them for your conclusion or something like that so in that way you can easily uh, have a structured thing and uh, so basically you don't have to break your head over so many things i have to read so many i have to read dpw all the issues i have to read this that no it's not not needed so it's very structured and you have to read in a structured manner write answers practice previous year questions and the role of previous year question is immense that you can see from the paper. That's all about your optionals. Coming to section, uh, you also have repetition of questions. How is sociology related to common sense? Previous year question. Education and social mobility. Again, a previous year question. Weberian bureaucracy, Durkheim's division of labor. So many repeated, not only repeated themes, repeated questions. So if you prepare these themes, you can write any question. So you have to, when you're preparing Durkheim's division of labor, for example, you have to know what it is. You have to, uh, uh, you have to know the basics of the theory. You have to know what methodology and what, uh, which school he belonged to and what methodology he followed for uh, talking of Durkheim. Then you have to know about uh, what he talks about in his theory of division of labor. What are the criticisms you, if you can interlink with some current examples or examples given by Durkheim and you write about the criticism, try to analyze it from a um, contemporary perspective. Say you add a contemporary criticism, something that a contemporary theorists have said or somewhere it is relevant in today's society that you can that, that dimension 
so how it is relevant and how it is uh how this theory is obsolete or something that dimension you have to prepare so one topic you prepare in three four dimensions about the topic uh, about the thinker criticism some modern thinkers take on it and its contemporary implications or how it is applicable or it's redundant in today's so these four five dimensions if you prepare i feel your uh you know these these themes are done and once your themes are done you can attempt any question on that uh moving on section b again repetition of themes and what they have done is they have taken the theme dependency theory how it is applicable in modern times so here comes your rule of current affairs they have not asked questions from current affairs directly so dependency theory you have to um you know uh, apply in contemporary times for example um, there was a score periphery model in modern times you don't have to core periphery as such but you have your uh, you know this outsourcing of jobs these assembling of parts and all these things so the, so here you need a little bit of contemporary uh, what contemporary thinkers or contemporary sociologists are saying what the post modernists are saying here you would need a little bit of your integration with your current issues and uh, what current thinkers are saying so this portion you would need a little bit of interlink only with your static knowledge this portion is a bit difficult to attend so here you would need to interlink kinship in modern times so what the modern thinkers are saying uh, about kinship how it's changing how it is changing how it is how it was in a pre globalized world and how it was how it is in a post globalized world from that dimension you have to analyze science and covid time so covid has covid dimension has played a very important role i'm sure all those who have given means this year they have prepared this this uh, dimension um, in detail so it shouldn't be difficult every it was it was expected that you would have a question on covid dimension uh, religious revivalism is in modern times again static area if you are following harold lambus and holborn it's very much discussed there cult in modern times very very significant and very common area ethnicity in modern times again moving on to analysis of your paper 2 again certain themes are most important in repeating year on year changing dimensions of family if you see that family kinship portion in your paper 2 previous year questions just see how many questions have come on this impact of globalization on family how family is changing what is the role of the new uh, family uh functional and dysfunctional aspects of family so all these questions are repeating these these they are more or less based on the same thing uh caste among non hindus there was a question on caste among muslims politics untouchability all these themes all these themes are repeating questions on untouchability then you have uh repeating questions book view field view indian middle class all these have come every year almost they have come almost every year they have come book view and field view indian middle class very 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 important it has come so many times uh you don't have questions from land reforms and that portion but uh th that area has been left out you have theory but ambedkar's annihilation of caste that is a very very important thing everyone prepares that guri alwin debate on tribe theories on modernization as i said yogendra singh's theory little and great traditions by macam marriott all of that that is there in your bk nagla's book so again repetition of themes and questions section b recurrent themes women empowerment technology in agri agrarian change so for your rural and agrarian transformation portion you have technology in agri uh, in agriculture which is again a very recurrent theme urban slums the cooperative movement regionalism skewed sex ratio problems of aging development and displacement all these issues are very much covered in your any any book on uh, problems in india or your ramahuja's book all your standard references in your ignu notes also in newspapers you always have this so recurrent themes and issues that has been in news in the last two years so it's not that they are asking some off beat issue or some uh some issue that was not that much highlighted uh they could have asked questions on uh, you know um, something like 
something that was less talked about, like the bully by app or something like that. So all these things, very fringe or something in peripheral current affairs was not there. They have, in the current affairs portion also, they have gone thematically. New education policy. Everyone has prepared about it, I'm sure. Because it was a, it's a very, very broad dimension. It's a very broad area. And it was talked about for the last two years. Women empowerment, social media and polarization and communal polarization, how women empowerment. So if you prepare these broad themes in multiple dimensions, your paper two is done, your paper one is also done. And you have to integrate with your current affairs. No overall suggestions. It's a moderate to easy paper. Standard sources, your Harold Lombus, your Ignu Notes are sufficient and other books that you have, your BK Nagla, you have your... Uh, Hmm. SL Doshi or you have your um, Ramahuja. Next, repeated themes and repeated questions. Conventional areas and lesser dominance of current affairs of last few months, as I said. Labor migration, science and tech and COVID time. So there's an importance of the COVID dimension and issues of the last two years have been covered. It's not that it's based on your immediate last three, four months current affairs. And <clears throat> We have our answer writing uh, program. So more than 90% will be releasing our detailed document where you can see that more than 90% themes and 90%, uh, I would not say the exact questions, they don't give exact questions, but the themes or area or uh, questions uh, on the same line as has been asked was from this Diademy social answer writing program. So that's all about uh, uh, this uh, session where we have broadly analyzed uh, the mains 2021 paper we'll again come up with a detailed session where we'll analyze how to approach each answer uh, in a few days how you can write each answer so that's all about it i hope those who have written mains uh, with sociology optional you have done great others too have done well and for those appearing in 2022 you can see how easy it is to score good marks so on that note, I'll end and uh, all the best, guys.